here from nothing but tech welcome to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my favorite apps of the month for march let's get into it so the first application on hand is unity and they were cool enough to not only sponsor this episode but also hook you guys up with a 35 percent off discount um off of their premium plan so let me explain why i'm so hyped about unity and why um i'm really happy that they got in touch unity is a cloud replacement service that gives you easy access to your videos music photos and other documents stored on your computer to be seen on your mobile devices whether you're at home or on the go, you can get access to all of your content from your phone and tablet as long as you have the application on your phone and computer. One feature that I actually use Unity a lot for is to upload photos stored on my computer straight into Instagram or other social media platforms from my phone. So for example, if I store a thumbnail for a video on my computer and then forget to put it on my phone, but I want to tweet about the video, uh, Unity enables me to actually get access to that photo, which is completely underrated. I hate that pesky storage notification as much as you probably do, and we we all always like try to uh, clear up storage on our phones and we can take more photos and stuff so we do this by uploading music and photos and stuff but then the problem with this is when you fly or are in places without cellular connection you can't access these and unity actually fixes this which is pretty awesome there are a multitude of other features that the app offers, so for more information, click the first link in the description below. Tilt is my second pick, and it's actually a pretty unknown application at around 50,000 downloads. It's this really interactive game that uses the sensors in your phone to sense movement. The objective is to get a ball through a maze into the finish line. To do this, you have to tilt your phone, making sure it doesn't go out of bounds. There is a single player mode where you have to race against the clock to navigate through the maze, or a multiplayer mode where you can play against your friends. The concept is simple and the graphics are clean, but most of all, it is a fun game, which is what I look for in uh, pickup plays like this. Sticking with time wasters, Polyforge is a really, really fun one. The first few levels are easy to complete, but as your skills improve, so does the difficulty of the levels. Basically, an object spins around and you have to strike all sides of the object without striking the same side twice. As the speed and the side amount increases, it becomes harder to nail each spot on your first try, and mixed with the soothing but electronic soundtrack, this game is a playable one forever. Hopping back over to productivity though, this one is for you guys who like writing daily diary entries but want it to be protected. I'll be honest here, this one caught my eye because it rocks the neon MBT pink, but after digging deeper through it, I actually really enjoyed the app and not just the color scheme of it. It's password protected, so you can rest assured that what you write in here is for your eyes only, which is something that can't be said for paper diaries nowadays. I've been using this to log channel analytics and channel goals alongside future series ideas that I can't share just yet. There are definitely more aesthetically pleasing options on the market, but I'll trade in the look of the UI for privacy protection. New Life Hacks comes in at number five, and if you can get past the ads, or pay the 99 cent fee, you will love this app when a waiting room with a few extra minutes to spare. This app is as simple as it sounds. It's just an organized list of tips to make your life easier. Some of them are seriously eye-opening, so if you're like me and you've always had a fascination with uh, life hacks, this is an app for you. More than halfway down the list, we have an awesome to-do list app with a name I'm not quite sure how to pronounce. Memager? I, I really have no clue, not even gonna attempt to pass that. You can plan out your day to make sure that you get everything done, and it will show you your plan in a clean, aesthetically pleasing format. Once the task is done, you can simply swipe it off the screen, and adding a new task is also as simple as just pressing the plus button. The layout and user interface of the app makes it my all-time favorite to-do list app and note taker, dethroning the classic, well-known Google Keep. EV Launcher comes in clutch for pick number seven for its minimal but different UI. I agree with Android Headlines who said it's deliciously different and it has worked its way up into my top three favorite launchers. Leave a like in this video if you want to see what the rest of them are. I love the app drawer in particular as it looks really nice but it also makes it really easy to find applications. EV Launcher allows for endless customization and as of now it's being frequently updated to ensure the best app support and the least amount of bugs. Walrocks is my next pick and uh, this actually pairs perfectly with EV Launcher. This wallpaper application is one of the best free ones on the market and it offers really unique looking wallpapers. They definitely are for people that want to stand out as they really offer a lot of colors and pops. So you're definitely going to want to pair this with um, a minimal icon pack to really complement the wallpapers. So this won't be good for you minimalists as it's really out there. but I'm I know for myself that I love having my screen pop and it always makes the phone feel new as I change them pretty often. So this is definitely one of my favorites uh, for really out there wallpapers that you wouldn't see on anyone else's device. Sticking with the theme of customization, my next pick is the pineapple icon pack. 
And I'll be honest here, I mostly picked this one for the name, and you know what I'm talking about if you're part of Periscope fam, but beneath the perfectly fitting name, these icons actually look pretty clean. They pack a lot of elements and colors, so they'll really work best with a minimal background, unlike what we saw in the Walrox application, but I really like that they just add some life to the stock applications. Smash Rocket is gonna round off this list for its soothing soundtrack, eye candy graphics, and its ability to fill up time. The concept is a basic one, which is something that all pick up and play games should possess. Rockets orbit around the Earth, and the objective is to hit the rockets and all of their targets to complete a mission. They're in-app purchases, but you definitely don't need them to have a good time in this one. So as I said before, if you want to check in any of these games, they'll be linked in the description down below. Uh, let me know what you thought of this video, smash the like button if you want more of it, and you can check out some of my other videos here, but I'll catch you guys otherwise in the next video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye!